Welcome Custom Cup fans, my name is Aurora and this is yet another unscripted uh, replay, replay, replay. This is a fe feature match, that's the word. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've recorded three other videos today, I'm on a roll. So we're just doing even more of them, except we're doing this one because it's easy. <laughs> so I don't have to script anything for it, I just have to make reaction faces, even though you can't see the reaction faces, I just have to make them. Um, so this is a duel from the first round of Battlegrounds 25. Battlegrounds 25 is a special Battlegrounds, as um, you will hopefully see by the time this video comes out from the um, Battleground report, because it was a uh, random decks Battleground, which means that uh, each contestant or uh, each participant would have a different deck rolled on them from the EXU's a Wheel of Doom trademark. Um, in this case, um, the new uh, the new 077 or Ravenclaw, um, I think rolled Diabolition, uh, which I don't know what it does properly, so we're gonna have to find that out together. Whereas uh, Pretzel Snake or Pretzel uh, rolled Carved Eyes, which is my deck, so I understand how it works. Um, so let's uh, see how this um this one goes. Um, so we're gonna see Raven winning the um. We need die roll and choosing to go first. We're going to get to see our first look at um, Diabolition. It's a penned deck. Interesting. Uh, so it locks you into Fiends, which means it's a relatively interesting choice then with um, Scareclaw to see. But we do have Triple Tactics Talent. I know what this card does. I think the only real way to find out what this deck does is to watch it play. Uh, as you can see, Pretz is playing um, Carved Eyes, as from the Sandstone Burster in the hand, but it's playing it with Adamancipator. Now, an interesting um, point about Carved Eyes is I thought this deck could not be played with Adamancipator because the Carved Eyes are level 10. Uh, Pretz is proving me wrong, <laughs> and I love her for it. So we're going to start off by seeing a normal summon of uh, Reichhardt and go Reichhardt effect in order to add a Scareclaw spell or trap from the deck to hand, which I'm assuming is going to be Primitive Planet Reichphobia. No, it's going to be Scareclaw Twinsaw, simply for the disruption, maybe. We're then going to link off the Reichhardt to summon a um, Scareclaw Lightheart, and this is when we're going to add the Primitive Planet Reichpho Reichphobia. That makes um, a lot of sense. So we're going to add the Reichphobia here to the hand and then activate the Reichphobia. Use its effect to add a Scareclaw monster or Vissa Starfrost from the deck to the hand. Adding from the deck to the hand, in this case, the Vissa Starfrost. Uh, we'll then use the effect of the Vissa Starfrost, popping the Light Heart and special summoning itself from the hand. And then we'll special summon from the graveyard the Scareclaw Light Heart since we do control the Vissa Starfrost. Um, then we will scale up, scale 10 Diabolition Cleaver. Um, and scale zero Diabolition Cardinal. Um, let's, uh, neither of these pen effects are particularly, uh, relevant at the moment. This one blocks you out of, um, pen summoning anything that aren't fiends. If you control the Diabolition Link, it can't be popped by card effects. And if a Diabolition monster is destroyed by battle card effects, you can special summon it from the pen zone. Uh, if you control the Diabolition Link, this card cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Seems that that is shared then, maybe? Uh, okay, then we're going to activate the effect in the hand of the Diabolition Form Binder, which will allow us to target a Diabolition card we control, except Form Binder, destroy it, and then special summon this card from the hand. Uh, the card we're going to be destroying is going to be this uh, Diabolition Cardinal. Um, and since a Diabolition monster was destroyed by a card effect, we can special summon the Cleaver from the Pen Zone. I'm, I think this is just going to be the way that we're going to be reaching uh, Link Summons. <laughs> I think we're now just going to start link summoning because we have more cards to do so with. It might have been... Oh, difficult to say. Yeah, there's no way we could have actually triggered Cleaver's effect on summon. It's really unfortunate. Um, we really wanted to see another Diabolition card, but whatever. Uh, we will then Synchro Summon using Formbinder and Starfrost in order to summon the Baron de Fleur, because remember, Starfrost is a level 6 tuner, and we are not locked into anything um, currently, which is hilarious, then we'll just set one and pass. Um, okay, it seems that this deck does nothing. Uh, we will draw a second Carved Eyes name, which is very important for Carved Eyes, as you will soon see. We're going to activate the effect in the hand of Mudstone Grappler of the Carved Eyes. By revealing Sandstone Burster of the Carved Eyes, we're then able to normal summon a Mudstone 
um, Grappler without tributing, and its effect will then um, trigger, allowing us to target a face-up card in the field and negate its effects until the end phase. This will allow us to target the Baronda Flirt, to bait out its negate, to negate and destroy the Muslim Grappler, and allow us to then go for an Animancipator Analyzer unopposed. We'll special summon an Animancipator Analyzer um, to normal summon... Oh. Oh. Normal summon Gate Blocker. Ah, oh, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with card effects. Twin Saw just got fucking axed. <laughs> bye bye, Scareclaw Twin Saw. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> We're gonna excavate top five here. We're gonna special summon the Doki Doki and put everything else back onto the bottom of the deck. Uh, then we're probably gonna go Doki Doki Literature Club um, from Zeno Guitar. Uh, we're gonna no. We're first gonna special summon the researcher and then go researcher effect. Excavate the top five. <gasps> canyon, yes. Oh, <laughs> love canyon. Uh, this is the card that all the carved eyes cards are based around. Essentially, um, when it, while you control canyon, uh, the carved eyes will all gain five hundred defense, and uh, they force your opponent to attack into them. And then canyon will double the attack, the damage of a monster, uh, of the damage that the opponent takes from attacking into a rock you control. Um, Pretz is playing a more combo-heavy version of the deck by using the carved dice for a very particular purpose that I hope that we'll be able to see at some point. Um, we're going to be special summoning this, special summoning this, uh, Kawakimeru Supplier and putting everything back into the deck, and then we'll trigger the effect of the Kawakimeru Supplier in order to add from the deck to the hand the Kawakimeru Guardian. Uh, we'll then overlay the, um... Analyzer and the Supplier to summon a Gallant Granite, and then trigger the effect of the Doki Doki to send the Xenogatar to the Graveyard and summon a Guardian from the deck. We'll then trigger the effect in the Graveyard of the Xenogatar, adding back to the hand the Mudstone, Mudstone Grappler of the Carved Eyes, and putting back into the deck the um, uh, Guardian that we already had. Then we're going to trigger Sandstone Burster of the Carved Eyes, uh, which will allow us to um, reveal the Mudstone Grappler of the Carved Eyes in the hand in order to normal summon it. This is by far the best Carved Eyes card, because we can now um, add a Canyon or Carved Eyes Spell or Trap from the deck to the hand, which is going to be called with Carved Eyes by discarding a card, and that's going to be the Mudstone Grappler of the Carved Eyes, which will then be able to banish later for the effect of the Call of the Carved Eyes to special summon another Carved Eyes monster from the deck. We'll then trigger the effect of the Gallant Granite, adding the Adamantic Seeker from the deck to the hand, and then I'm assuming we're going to start Link Summoning. Link off the uh, researcher and the anal and the gallant granite to summon an angelic preservation, which will allow us to special summon an extra token, a profaned crystal token, and then synchro summon using the guardian and the profaned crystal token to summon a um, adamantipator risen drag eyes because those are two level four monsters. Um, yes, this is a card that exists. Uh, we'll then go adamantipator risen drag eyes, banishing the top five cards of the deck. They're all of our card dine it carved eyes names, and we did in fact uh, excavate five rock monsters, which means five cards our opponent controls are going to be returned to the hand. Uh, for an observant viewer, that would be all of them. Um, <laughs> no, we didn't get to see the rest of the carved eyes. Oh, carved eyes were really fun. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see it in either game two or game three. So game two, we're going to be seeing Raven going second, and let's hope that this hand is a little bit more advantageous for them than the last one going to see it starting off by a normal summoning a Diabolition Puppeteer, which will on, on normal summon add a Diabolition Monster from the deck to the hand. Uh, the card we're going to be seeing from the deck to the hand here is probably going to be a, uh, a complementary scale to Businessman and Cardinal, probably a scale 10. No, it's just going to be another Form Binder. Okay, that's understandable. We're then going to scale the uh, Businessman and um, activate the effect of Form Binder, popping the Businessman in order to special summon it from the hand. I think. Yep. And... Um, yeah, okay. Business. Uh, then we're going to go... Oh, yeah, is this card in the field is destroyed by battle or card effect? Okay, yeah, because there's no declare effect button from the ED. Uh, you can special summon a Diabolition monster from the handle deck, except Diabolition Businessman. We're going to be summoning a Diabolition Cleaver. Okay, this is understandable. This is I, I get this so far. Uh, we're then going to link off the Diabolition Puppeteer to uh, summon the Diabolician Navigator. Really nice art, oh my goodness. Uh, and which will allow us to banish Diabolician card from our grave to special summon a Diabolician monster from the hand to his own it points to. So we'll banish from the graveyard the Puppeteer and we'll just special summon from the hand the Diabolician Cardinal. And then we'll activate the uh, Primitive Planet Reichphobia. This is going pretty well for, for um, Raven so far, I think. 
It's going to add Vicious Staff Frost from the deck to the hand, and then we're going to trigger the effect of the Vicious Staff Frost, uh, targeting and destroying the Form Binder in order to special summon it from the hand. This is a really nice synergy with this uh, deck that really likes be to be destroyed by itself. We're not using Unchained, but instead we're using Scareclaw in order to have access to Vicious Staff Frost, which instead of Unchained opening up our Link uh, removal lines, um, which we already need our Link Zones for, um, Vissa Starfrost accesses Barone Lines. I think this is a really interesting way that this deck is that this deck functions. Uh, Formbinder's effect is then going to trigger for each um, drawing a card for each Diabolish and Pender monster you control with a different name, of which we control two, and then you have to discard one card. Uh, the card we're going to be discarding here is going to be the Scareclaw Reichardt. Um, understandable, I suppose. Uh, we're then going to go Cardinal Effect during the main phase, talking another Diabolition monster you control, destroy it, and then add a Diabolition Spell or Trap from the deck to the hand. Seems pretty good to me. We're going to pop the Cleaver and add from the deck to the hand the Diabolition Terror. Um, that'll then allow us to link off the um, Cardinal, sending it to the face of Extra Deck, of course, and link off the Navigator as well to summon a Link 2 monster, which is going to be the Di Diabolition Fiendish Savant. On Link Summon, this will allow us to add a Diabolish and Pend monster from our face of extra deck to our hand, which should be quite useful here for when we actually Pend Summon, which we have not done yet this turn. As Chain Link 2, we are going to trigger the effect of Diabolish and Cardinal, since it was sent to the face of extra deck as a Link material for the summon of a, of a Diabolish and monster. We can banish a Diabolish and monster from the graveyard in order to special summon it from the extra deck, but banish it when it leaves the field. By banishing the link from the graveyard, we can special summon it, and then um, we will add to the hand the cleaver. I do believe that this cardinal is supposed to be in one of these zones since it was summoned from the extra deck, and it is a pen monster. But then again, I'm not exactly perfectly versed on those rulings, so I could be wrong. We'll go Diabolition Terror Effect, and since we control no cards in our pen zones, so discard a card and then add two Diabolition pen monsters with different names from the deck to the hand. How enjoyable. We'll pitch this businessman from the hand. It's just a good business pitch. And then we'll add Diabolition Sticks and Diabolition Courier from the deck to the hand. I'm assuming this is going to allow us to set our scales effectively. We're going to go Cleaver and Courier in order to pen summon from the extra deck the Diabolition Businessman and from the hand the sticks. Um, yeah, that's... That seems like a decent deck to me. Diabolition Sticks is effect will activate since it's linked with a Diabolition Link Monster. You can add a banished Diabolition card... Uh, you control, destroy this card, and add that card to the hand. So we're going to pop the sticks and then add to the hand a Banished Diabolition card, which is going to be the Diabolition Puppeteer. Uh, we're then going to trigger the effect of the Diabolition Fiendish Savant. Since a Diabolition monster that was linked with this card is destroyed, as assumed, we can set a Diabolition Spell or Trap from the deck, which is going to be... No. Not quite. Uh, it's going to be this one, the Diabolition Offer. Understandable. Uh, we're then going to trigger the effect of Cleaver. Damn, we really do have a combo line here. Um, oh, did we miss timing? No, no way. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, no, this needed to chain. This needed to chain, honey. Uh, we needed to chain, yeah. And just forgot to chain it. That's unfortunate. Uh, we'll then link together the Businessman and the Fiendish Savant in order to summon the Link 3 Diabolition Soul Stealer. I'm understanding especially why we cannot use the Unchained Link Monsters for this deck. Uh, when it's linked, summon, we can special summon two face-up Diabolition Pen Monsters from the extra deck and some and so sure Pen Zones to the zones this card points to. Damn, that's pretty decent. So we're going to summon Sticks and Courier. Courier effect is going to activate to... Um, since it's special summoned, add it targeted Diabolition card in the grave, shuffle it into the deck. We're going to put back the Fiendish Savant into the extra deck, and then overlay over the sticks to summon a Diabolition uh, Death Mistress, which on uh, Exceed Summon using a Pend Monster, I'm assuming we're overlaying over sticks and Courier. Um, yeah, um, we, on Exceed Summon, we can add a face of Diabolition Pen from the extra deck to the hand. Uh, that is going to be the Businessman, since it is the only card in that extra deck. We're then going to link four, I think, here with the Cardinal and the Soul Stealer in order to summon the Link 4 Diabolition Vile Corporate. Damn, this deck is literally just the corporate chain. Um, if a Diabolition you control is destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy a card your opponent controls, non-targeting removal, and it's up to twice per turn. That's pretty damn powerful. Once per turn, if you control no cards in the pen zones, you can bash two Diabolitions with different names from the grave, place two Diabolition monsters with different names from the deck into pen zones. That seems pretty decent. This deck seems really well put together. Um, it's fine, surely. Why not? We're going to activate, um, Businessman as the last thing we do this turn, and 
in the standby phase, we're going to activate Diabolition Offer in order to target Diabolition in the Grave or Pen Zone and Special Summon it. What are we Special Summoning? We are going to be summoning the Diabolition Soul Stealer. Okay, understandable. A quick fetching target, a card your opponent controls, destroy, add a pen monster from face of extra to the hand, then destroy a Diabolition pen monster you control with a different name from the added card. Okay. Um, well, we don't currently have a Diabolition pen monster in the face of extra deck, so we can't activate this. So it is a mandatory trigger. So we're going to go battle phase, and then the match is even. Uh, we are going to banish a bunch of cards from the field, but we are going to choose Heap Vile Corporate. Uh, but Pret is absolutely correct. It is absolutely the only playable card in this entire hand. We will normal summon Guardian, reveal Gate Blocker, and pass the turn. And I think that gives uh, Raven just about enough leeway to clean this game up. Game up. We're going to activate Prim Primitive Planet Rykphobia to add a Rykheart from the deck to the hand. Um, then we are going to um, uh, normal summon the Diabolition Puppeteer and trigger its effect in order to add from the deck to the hand a Diabolition Monster. We're going to add Diabolition Businessman. Uh, we'll then activate Businessman in the pen zone, trigger the effect in the graveyard of sticks, popping it and then popping the Businessman and putting the sticks back into the uh, pen zone. Then we're going to go Businessman effect in the extra deck, that, which we will negate with the effect of the uh, Quarky Mirror Guardian, then we'll trigger the effect in the graveyard of the Diabolition Terror, which can add a Diabolition card from Grave or Face Up Extra Deck to the hand. I'm going to pretend to remember exactly what effects are activating at all times. Um, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Pretz has, um, Pretz would have missed um, Supplier's trigger effect um, uh, if she knew that Terror wasn't a trigger effect, but that's fine. So we're going to trigger the effect of um, Supplier, and we're going to go Supplier effect to add a Guardian, then we'll trigger the effect of Diabolition Terror in the graveyard in order to banish it and add from the deck to the hand the Diabolition Form Binder. Um, we're then going to activate the effect in the hand of Form Binder, special summoning it from the hand by popping the Diabolition Sticks most likely. Yep. We're going to pop the Sticks and special summon the Form Binder. Um, then we're going to trigger the effect of the Diabolition File Corporate, popping the Supplier. Uh, we're then going to go Vile Corporate Effect in order to banish two from the graveyard, and that is just going to lead to Pret's Concession. I would say some back and forth there, but unfortunately, uh, the match was evenly. Um, really interesting combo lines, though, from uh, Ravenclaw. Really just showing off what Diabolition, Ravenclaw, uh, what Diabolition Scareclaw can actually do. Uh, please no tuners, please no tuners. Um, I mean, you've got your wish. There are no tuners in this opening hand. We are going to be setting Rock Band Xeno Guitar and ending the turn. Ooh. So it all depends. Can, can Ravenclaw clutch this game out? We're going to start off by activating Genta, Gateman of Dark World. By pitching it from the hand, we can add from the deck to the hand the Gates of Dark World. Uh, we're then going to activate the Gates of Dark World, use its effect to ban it to um, pitch the Diabolition Cleaver. Uh, actually, this banishes from the graveyard for cost, then discards, then draws. Slightly wrong order, but it's fine. We're going to pitch this Cleaver, and then we're going to draw into a Form Binder, which we did not have yet, which sounds pretty damn useful. Then we're going to go Gentis Effect in the graveyard, since it was banished by the effect of a Dark World card. We can special summon it. Um... And then we will activate the. Then we will normal summon a Scareclaw Reichhardt. Uh, we're going to go a Reichhardt effect in order to add from the deck to the hand the Scareclaw Twin Saw. And then we'll send to the graveyard the Reichhardt in order to link summon a Scareclaw Lightheart. Lightheart's effect is going to add from the deck to the hand the primitive planet Reichphobia, not giving away that we already have one in hand. Then we're going to send that gates to the graveyard to activate the Reichphobia and then use Reichphobia to add, you guessed it, please your void, Visas Stafros. Uh, this has Staffrost's effect. We'll pop the Light Heart in order to special summon him from the hand. And then we'll trigger the effect in the graveyard of the Vissas of the Scareclaw Light Heart in order to special summon it back since we control this as Staffrost. Uh, then we're going to link summon using the no synchro summon, sorry, using Genta and Staffrost to summon a Baron de Fleur. Then we're going to go Baron de Fleur effect, popping the Xeno Guitar. That will trigger the effect in the hand of Pret's uh, Kawaki Mirror Supplier and add from the deck to the hand with the effect of Kawaki Mirror Supplier, Kawaki Mirror Guardian. Uh, that's going to be a big issue for Raven if Pretz decides to normal summon that at the beginning of her turn. Uh, first of all, is going to... Oh, no. Does he not have any more extension? What? Can't we go, like, activate Cleaver and then Form Binder? I guess that doesn't really do much. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, no. 
I don't I don't remember what the link one does well enough. Um Yeah, we're just gonna set twin saw. So we're ending on Barone Twin Saw Pass. And researchers an absolutely godly draw. Uh, if we can hit like a gate blocker off of this researcher, we are living good. And having double signs in hand, remember, children, signs is not a once per turn card. Thank the Lord, normal summon. Oh, normal summon guardian. Swing into light hearts. And that is probably going to spell the end of this game. Uh, we are going to activate in the, ha the effect in the hand of Adamancipator Researcher. Um, yeah. Baron the Fleur is going to trigger, which is going to be negated by Kawaki Mirror Guardian by tributing it. Then we are going to go Adamant's Pater Signs targeting, uh, Kawaki Mirror Guardian. And then, um, we did not special summon an Adamant's Pater Monster by this effect, so we cannot place a level 4 or lower rock from the deck. So we are now going to trigger the effect of Adamant's Pater Researcher, excavating the top five cards of the deck. And we are going to see multiple very good cards, but the card we're going to choose is going to be the Doki Doki. An incredible card for our Emancipator. Um, let's see what we can do with this. We're going to go Doki Doki Effect, discarding uh, the Limestone Protector of the Carved Eyes. Special Summoning from the deck, another Limestone Protector of the Carved Eyes. Um, then we're going to trigger the effect of Limestone Protector, which will protect all of our uh, rock monsters until the end of the next turn from card effects. Then we're going to go the effect of an Emancipator Rhythm Rabbitite, excavating the top five cards of the deck and special summoning any excavated rock monster. This, I think, is probably going to be Sandstone Burster. I can't imagine it's going to... It could be Guardian. Uh, very interesting to see. It's going to be Limestone Protector. Very interesting. Okay, so these are all going to now go to the bottom of the deck. And then we're going to um, link the Doki Doki and the um, Risen Raptite for the Last Ashes of World's End. Last Ashes of World's End is going to trigger to add to the hand the Researcher from the Graveyard, but it now cannot be used until the end of the next turn. We're going to overlay our two carved eyes in order to summon a number 124 Omega Fortress. This is the big synergy that carved eyes have in Adamancipator. Uh, this is a massive rank 10 that can detach a material and target a monster in the either player's grave that was properly summoned, equip it to number 124, and then copy its effects. This is usually used in this deck to copy Gallant Granite, but here we're obviously going to have to do something a little bit different, and we're going to be copying uh, Raptite. Uh, we're then going to go Effect of Omega Fortress to excavate the top five, and those are some, those are some draws. Oh my goodness. Um, they're not that good. I saw Zeno Guitar, and I assumed this card was great. Um, ooh, Sandstone Buster could be pretty nice here. Pretz, remember that you do not have any tuners in the graveyard. Okay, this hand, this hand has gone significantly worse. Well, is Doki Doki's effect? It is a hard once per turn. Okay. <laughs> um, yep, we're just going to summon the Sandstone Burster. I absolutely approve of this being the correct, um, the correct summon. Okay, we're then going to trigger the effect of the Sandstone Burster of the Carved Eyes, adding from the deck to the hand the Cool with Carved Eyes, and then sending the Research to the Graveyard. When then we're going to activate Call with Carve... Uh, call with Carved Eyes to special summon from the deck the Mudstone Grappler of the Carved Eyes, but it cannot change its battle position or, or its effects be activated. And then we're going to link the two of them off in order to summon an Adamancipator Explorer. Dora, Dora, Dora the Explorer. And then we're going to banish the top five cards of the deck, special summon a Adamancipator Monster, which is going to be the Adamancipator Analyzer. Oh my goodness, and this is just a rock combo. Solid rock, baby. We're going to go Adamancipator Analyzer, banishing the top five cards of the deck and special summoning the Kawaki Mirror Guardian since it is a non-tuner rock that we did manage to exca excavate with that effect. We are just absolutely popping off right now. I think we're just trying to find a way to lethal. Is this an, isn't this already lethal, Pretz? Pretz. This is literally like... Pretz, this is literally lethal on board. Pretz, literally just... Make lethal. Pretz, just make the lethal. We're going to link link two with the Guardian and the Adamant's Peter Analyzer. Summon Security Gate Blocker, which is a hilarious card, um, which can once per turn um, special summon a Gate Blocker from the Hand or Grave. Uh, we're then going to activate um, 
Adam anticipates signs, special summoning from the graveyard, the Kawaki Mirror Supplier, which will then trigger the effect of the Supplier to add from the deck to the hand, the Kawaki Mirror Guardian. Then we're going to Synchro Summon using the Analyzer and the Supplier to summon the Borrowload Savage Dragon and use Savage Dragon's effect. No, we are not because it is not a rock monster and the Adam Anticipator Explorer locks us into rock. So we are, in fact, just going to be overlaying these into a Gallant Granite. And then we're going to go um, Effective Gallant Granite, detaching a material and... Uh, adding a gate blocker from the deck to the hand. We then go security gate blocker, special in the gate blocker from the hand, and go into the battle phase. Was our battle phase? Why is our battle phase skipped? Remind me why our battle phase is skipped. I need to know. Why is this? Why, why is the battle phase skipped? I need to know. What skipped the battle phase? Why am I being a dum dum? I don't know what skipped the battle phase. I'm sorry. I actually don't know what skipped the battle phase that game, but that's just me being dense. Um, what was the draw here? Was it another form binder? Yeah, no, I do, I do not understand. I, I do not blame you for not liking that draw. Um, so we are going to go right. Oh yes, of course. So gate blocker um, means that y your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with card effects. But uh, Limestone Protector of the Carved Eyes means that you can activate the effect and then until the end of the next turn, rocks you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Which means that Limestone Protector protects them from card effects and Gate Blocker protects everything else from being targeted. This is awesome. This deck is really cool. Oh, and also um, Security Gate Blocker is unaffected by spell effects and your opponent cannot destroy other monsters you control with card effects. Um, regardless of whether they're rocks or not, so that includes Omega Fortress and Last Ashes. Damn, Pretz's deck is really cool. <laughs> this deck is really cool, and I was really happy to see it in action. I got sent a replay of this deck before the um, BG started, and I, it was it, it was just so cool. Uh, we're going to start off by normal summoning Rykart and add Arrival from the deck to the hand. We're then going to go Arrival Effect, special summon from the Grigard, the Visa Starfrost. We're then going to activate the effect in the Graveyard of Lightheart, special summon it from the Graveyard since we... Ooh, no, we have used that effect already this turn. It's a once per duel. So we cannot use the effect of the Lightheart to special summon it. Uh, we're instead going to uh, pen scale the... Um, what's it called? The Cleaver, and then special summon the Form Binder from the hand. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think this quite does what we need it to. We're going to overlay over the both of them. Baguska, the terribly tired Tapir. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to draw and it's going to be a signs that may just be enough to win us the game. Um, yeah. Oh, dear. This is going to be a... This is going to be a turn, I imagine, from Pretz. We're going to link off the Gate Blocker and the Last Ashes of the World then to summon the Link 3 Embodiment of a Last Caress, uh, which will... Which is basically just a... Um, What's it called? Uh, just a trap hole. Um, this is literally just bottomless trap hole on a Link 3. This card is awesome. We have some really cool generic Link 3s and Link 2s. Uh, we're then going to switch the Gallant Granite to the... Um... Oh! Wait, no, why can't we switch these to attack? Hold on. Are monsters that are in defense before Baguska is summoned affected by its effect? What? Monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack and events reach defense position monster on the field. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that means, yeah, no, Last Caress is too small, that's true. Yeah, rewind game state, we are, is rewind time! It's rewind time, we're gonna say 300, but it doesn't matter because we still have Last Caress. Um, Pretz has no idea what to do because that was her entire game plan. We're going to go sign the special summon back the security gate blocker so that we have a little bit of, a little bit more protection. But now we are no longer under the protection of a limestone protector of the carved eyes, meaning that our cards can once again be destroyed by card effects. Except we do have the security gate blocker, which means that we cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, we're going to detach material from Baguska and then switch it to attack position. And we have, in fact, seen the businessman off the top, which means finally we can play. And that second um, uh, form binder becomes exceptionally strong.
Um, uh, wait, hold on, what's this? Uh, the only question, is that Link 3 a problem? Oh, is that Link 3 a problem? I can't read. Um, so now my field is back to being negated, right? Um, why is the field negated? I don't understand why the field is negated. But you know, sure. Why not? The field is negated. Um. Oh, it's unaffected by spell effects. That's true, that's true, that's true. I see, I see. Okay, so we're going to be getting rid of that embodiment of Last Caress, and then we're going to go um, activate Businessman and Form Binder effect in order to uh, pop that Businessman and Special Summon it from the hand. We're then going to um, use the effect of the Businessman to Special Summon the Puppeteer from the deck, and then go the effect of the Puppeteer to add from the deck to the hand a Diabolition Monster. That's going to be the Diabolition Cardinal, and then we're going to Link Summon the Diabolition Navigator by linking off the Puppeteer and use its effect to banish a Diabolition Monster from the Grave to Special Summon one from the hand. We're going to banish from the Graveyard the Form Binder in order to Special Summon the Cardinal from the hand. We then trigger the effect of the Puppeteer, Special Summoning it from the Graveyard. Um, um, since we control a Diabolition Pen Monster, allowing us to destroy a card on the field in the process. The card we're going to be popping is um, absolutely nothing, apparently. We're then going to overlay the two of them, summon Diabolition Death Mistress. I'm not bothered enough to call for a judge to rewind. Then we're going to add from the, from the extra deck to the hand the uh, Diabolition Cleaver. Then activate the Cleaver and link off the two to summon a Diabolition a Fiendish Savant. Then we'll go the effect of the Fiendish Savant in order to add... Uh, a pen monster from the face of extra deck to the hand. We're going to be um, uh, chaining as uh, chaining to the cardinal, banishing from the grave of the navigator, and adding the businessman to the hand. We we'll then go effect of cardinal, tributing the death mistress, and uh, that adds a diabolition terror from the deck to the hand. We we'll then go the effect of cleaver, since the card was destroyed by a card effect, we can special summon it from the pen zone, and then we'll trigger the effect of the cleaver to add a diabolition card from the graveyard to the hand. We are absolutely popping off. Um, Diabolition Cleaver's effect is going to add from the graveyard to the hand of the Diabolition Form Binder. We are absolutely popping off. Terror's effect is going to discard the Businessman in order to activate from the deck to Pen Scales, which is going to be Diabolition Courier and Diabolition Six. Once again, this is oh, this is such a cool combo line. We're then going to uh, link together the Cardinal and the Phoenix Savant to summon the uh, Diabolition Link Three Soul Stealer, and then use the effect of oh. Oh, I don't know how we messed up because I'm not smart enough to understand this deck. Uh, we're now going to normal summon a Diabolition Styx and trigger its effect since we control a, since it's linked. We can target a Banished Diabolition Link and uh, destroy this card and add it to the hand. Um, or target a Banished Diabolition card. We're going to pop the Styx and add to the handy Diabolition Cardinal, which I'm assuming is going. Oh, it's not going to get scaled because we don't have a high scale. Soul Stealer's effect is going to trigger since a Diabolition card was destroyed. No, we're just going to trigger it um, on its own in order to target and destroy the Gate Blocker. Um, unfortunately, it can't be destroyed. Um, so... Yeah. Um, no targeting destruction for you. Uh, we're then going to link together the Soul Stealer and the Cleaver in order to summon the Link for Diabolition Vile Corporate, and then use the effect of the Vile Corporate in order to banish two Diabolitions from the graveyard to place two Diabolitions with different names from the deck in the pen scales. Uh, we're going to be placing um, Diabolition Cleaver and Diabolition Cardinal. Play Astra. What's Astra? What's Astra? I can't wait to find out what Astra is because I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, we're going to pen summon four. And then we're going to go the effect of the courier, um, targeting the gate blocker. Uh, gate blocker absolutely can be targeted. What do you mean gate blocker can't be targeted? Gate blocker absolutely can be targeted. What do you mean? Um. Okay, so we're going to pop the courier. Yeah, so we're going to pop the courier um, and target the gate blocker and negate its effects. And then we're going to um, use the effect of courier's effect, which is on summon, to shuffle a Diabolition card from the graveyard into the deck, which we did. Okay, 
I'm back on the same page as what's happening now. Diabolish and Vile Corporate Effect. Target and um, get rid of that Gate Blocker. Uh, since we can now target it due to Gate Blocker existing as a negated card. We are board breaking. But it's the end of our turn. Can Pretz pull it back? Probably. Baguska's now in attack position. We are going to go into... Yeah. Oh, no. No. Raven had to go. No. This was such a good game. Yeah, I think Pretz did have it on the crackback with the uh, Omega Fortress and the Gallant Granite and an excellent top deck in Sandstone Burster of the Carved Eyes, which I'm assuming she would have been able to summon back from the graveyard. Um, I don't really think that... Um, Raven had access to much disruption on this board. I mean, there is Vile Corporate, but aside from that, there doesn't seem to be very many quick effects on this field. So, probably it would have been that uh, Pretz did in fact win this game um, completely fairly. Honestly, that was such an incredible game. I do not mind absolutely promoting this game. There was excellent back and forth between these two decks. Both strategies were excellently innovative. Diabolish and Scareclaw is an incredibly cool combo deck. It seems that it has um, lots of diverging branches, which might have um, tripped Ravenclaw up. Remember, this was round one of Battlegrounds 25, which means that they were not very well versed with this deck at all, apart from any testing that they had done beforehand. And Raven playing, uh, and Pretz, sorry, playing Adamantipator Carved Eyes, just such an excellent example of what Adamantipator can do when put into a limited environment with a deck that it only mildly synergizes with. Finding those extra synergies with something like 124 Omega Fortress is what makes EXU EXU, in my opinion. On that note, if you would like to take part in the next Battlegrounds, or perhaps in any future Battlegrounds that may include the Wheel of Doom, you should totally check out the Discord link in the description, where you can chat with other custom card creators around the world, and many, many more things. As always, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more content, and click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload. That'll be all from me this time, and I'll see you next time.